weekly update video here. So I posted a blog post uh, this morning, just kind of detailing how this week has gone, what I learned this week, it's what my blog series is called. So um, check that out if you're interested. And um, I just wanted to mention a couple of other things. So ongoing therapy, uh, it's where it's at right now. And I'm still, I'm still excited about this new journey with my new therapist. Um, she seems to be really motivated to help me. And, you know, she's mentioned several times that she's really glad that I came in and that um, she's got several things in mind for me to start working on and to really put into practice in my daily life. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And um, something else that I briefly mentioned in my blog is that I have actually developed a routine, at least for the remainder of this term, to get some studying done for once in my life. Um, I've been getting up early, doing 10 to 30 minute yoga sessions, and then getting out of here and getting to class and taking only the essentials. I don't bring my laptop. I bring my tablet that I can only use for taking notes in class because I don't bring my charger, so I can't sit there and watch YouTube videos. I can't sit there and, um, you know, cruise the internet. So I've been doing that and um, finding there's several quiet places to study that aren't in the library because for some reason, for me, the library just means it's nap time. So <laughs> I found um, several different study areas. There's actually dedicated dedicated study rooms in um, one of the buildings. And so if I sit down there long enough with my headphones in listening to podcasts, then I can poach a room when someone leaves. Because um, I generally don't get there early enough to get a room, you know, before they're all full. But it generally only takes about 20 minutes so I can get into a room, which is great. And then I go in there and I shut the door and there's a window everybody can see in, which is a little bit creepy and I don't really like it. But at the same time, it makes me cognizant of the fact that other people can see me. So if I'm sitting in there just eating or not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, then I'm taking up a study room that I waited for that other people will probably want to use. So there's a little bit of a guilt factor, a holding me accountable factor um, with those rooms, which is great. And then there's a couple of other like more open study areas that are still really quiet, but they're not a room unto themselves. And it doesn't seem like people know about them or they don't like to use them. Um, they're in an older building that doesn't really have any classrooms. So I'm thinking that might be why people don't really utilize them. But it's great for me because I like them. They're really cool. And I posted a picture on Instagram the other day of a window to nowhere. So this study area is basically this, it's almost like a mezzanine level, but it's in the stairwell. So it's, it's on the fourth floor but it's in the stairwell between the stairs that go up to the fifth floor and the stairs that go down to the third floor. This building is weird to begin with. There's like a chapel in the middle of it. So it like the hallways are not straight anyway. Um, it's a really good study area. And there's like this whiteboard that kind of goes across it. So people can't see me until I like going down the stairs or something. And they're really loud, noisy stairs and people know that so they don't use them anyway. Anyway, you will have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure, but it's great. And um, if I can't find a room, I go there first. And if it's full, then I go back downstairs and wait for a room. But there's a couple of other similar, like, stairwell um, kind of hidden study places that I also go to. So that's great. And the fact that I am, like, so on myself about doing it and really getting dedicated it's great. I've been doing it for a week. You know, it takes 28 days to make a habit. It takes 28, well, it takes 29 days to break a habit. Um, but we're working on it. So we've got five days down, I guess you could say. And um, actually six days down because this morning I got up and I didn't do yoga, but I went for a, I went for a walk, basically an inside walk, um, whatever. It's, um, it was great because it got me up, got my blood flowing, and then I didn't just come back and, and eat breakfast and sit on my bed. I was like, okay, you know, I took my pills. I need to wait at least a half an hour, so let's wait an hour. 
um, and I got a whole set of assignments done for one class in that hour because I was uber focused. Um, and then I had lunch or breakfast and I like limited myself on how long I was going to sit there. And so I continued to do stuff and that was great. Um, it was very productive and that makes me feel good. Also, I realized today that it is only 19 days until I get to fly home. I am so excited. I can't even tell you. Especially because I, I didn't think I was going to get to go home, not until May, and then only for a month, and then I'd be back here in June for the next six months, basically, um, until the Christmas holiday break. So it's great, and I'm excited. And I also found out today that there is a quarter horse show going on in my favorite venue when I get home, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And... Um, it's great and I, I'm going to be home while I still have health insurance. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of that and go have a couple of doctor's appointments and um, I'm having tea with one of my best friends so that's great too. And one of my other best friends is potentially coming to visit me less than three weeks after I get back here to Buffalo. So that's incredible. I hope it works out. I hope the weather stays good for everyone's travels. Um, it was 70 degrees yesterday in Buffalo. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, I know it gets hot during the summer, but anyway, and then it's supposed to snow tonight. So what do you know? And um, yeah, I guess that's, that's most of it. I had a couple of exams this week. They both went well, at least um, I know one of them went well. I got 100% on it. And then I had nutritional biochemistry yesterday and it was a heck of a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I studied my butt off for it to the detriment of all of my other classes, to the neglect of all of my other classes. Uh, but I fixed that this morning and um, it was great, but it was also objectively easier than I think most of the class thought it was going to be. So um, I think we all did really well and that's great. It's a boost. It's gotta make the professor feel good that she, um, she has a bunch of students who know what they're talking about. So that's, that's always great. And then I had a powwow with the roomies last night. That was great. I'm almost starting to feel like this isn't one long dream or nightmare, depending on how you look at it. Um, I've traveled around, I've explored a little bit more, and the city is not great. I really don't like it. Campus isn't great. Um, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it, but I'm here and I'm committed and I'm doing well. And I am talking about, you know, storage and coming back next year and making all those plans already. So we're on our way and that's what matters. I'm moving forward and, um, I can't tell you how good it feels. Once I get done with this weird term in summer, it's just two more years. And um, especially if I can work this summer and next summer and get a little bit of money to offset at least the interest payments I'm supposed to be making, then we'll be in business. Um, it's just so hard figuring out the finances and staying motivated. And it's really hard not to sit down and cry every day. Um, but you can't do that, you know, this is life and this is, this is the twisting, turning path, right, to the destination and, and this is the path that gives you the stories and this is life, you know. I have to stop thinking about my life begins when I have a career because that's not true and that's just a waste. You know, it's morbid, but I could be dead in the next, I, I could be dead in the next 10 minutes, right? And um, this is life. I may never have a career. So what have I done? I've actually done a lot of things. I may not be super happy with the way things have gone, but I have to stop thinking about what I should have done and remember what I have done and recognize it for what it was. And um, I've lived a lot of places. I've been to a lot of schools. I've met a lot of people and I continued to move on and move forward. And sometimes that was a hard decision to make, but I made it and I've kept going and I'm still here and I'm still pushing and I, 
you know, that has to be enough at some point. And it's enough in a way and not enough in another because I know what I'm destined for and I'm destined for bigger and better things. It's just taken me a while to get there. And I've had a lot of obstacles. Um, I've also been really fortunate with some of the aspects of my life and I try not to take that for granted. Sometimes, sometimes it happens, but you just have to remember that everyone's in your life for a reason. And if you don't think they're there for a reason, or if you think they're there to be a negative influence on you, get rid of them. You know, everyone says that, but the toxic people in your life, they're toxic, right? Get rid of them. You don't need them. Same with the thoughts, toxic thoughts. You don't need them. You really don't get rid of them. There's no shoulds. There's no, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should do this tomorrow. Oh, no, no. There's only what you have done and what you will do. And it's important to remember that. And I'll get off my soapbox, my little therapy memory sessions and recalling the things that I've learned this week. Um, but yeah, it's been all in all a pretty good week. And I, I don't just say that because it was only Wednesday through Friday. Um, we had Monday and Tuesday off for a midwinter break, uh, President's Day in the United States, and then just an extra day to give everybody a four-day weekend to go home. And I was stuck here, but that's okay because I got into the swing of yoga. I come in it now, and um, it's good, actually. I'm really proud of myself that I've been able to stick with it. And uh, it's not even so much the exercise or – some people don't think yoga is exercise. It is. It for sure is. If my fitness pal and Fitbit say it's an exercise, it's an exercise, okay? <laughs> but I'm really, yeah, I'm proud of myself for sticking with it. It's it's more the routine and the commitment than it is anything else. Um, it's the same with, you know, I got my new Fitbit. I've been wearing it. I've been getting 10,000 steps every day. And it's not so much the health benefit, although that's a big part of it. Um, losing my health insurance and having no idea what's going to be happening with Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act, I need to be moving away from so many medications and relying on doctors because I won't be able to afford that in the near future, um, at least for a couple of years. So the health aspect is big, but for me, it's the commitment. It's commitment to health, but it's also co just commitment it, at all. Um, continuing to do things that I said I'm going to do, um, as you may or may not know, following my channel, following my blog, um, I only have one series going on my blog right now, and I had these grand ideas, and I still do, and I have every intention of making a fiber post and a cholesterol post and a blood glucose post. These things that I've learned about, um, I have every intention of doing that, and I will as soon as I, you know, it's baby steps, so I'm committing to my health, I'm committing to studying, and then it's going to be committing to blog posts, and then it's going to be committing to making videos that aren't just these rambly um, diary style vlog entries. Um, but in some ways, they are the most helpful to me, and I'm sure they're not to anyone else because probably nobody's watching at this point, and that's okay. Um, but it's getting my thoughts out there, and it's it's committing them to something that's not my brain and allowing my brain to take a break right? To have all of these thoughts out there in a way that I can look back at them if I want to. Other people can see them if they want to. And it's being held accountable. It's commitment. It's a lot of things that I'm learning right now. Um, it seems that I knew them as a kid and now I've totally forgotten what responsibility, commitment, and motivation are like. Um, in a lot of ways, I had my childhood taken away from me. And um, I think I wanted it back, but I really don't. I want to be an adult. I want to be a career woman. I want to be responsible. I want to be respected. And I want to have my own money so I can have a horse and a Great Dane and another couple of dogs and another horse and a hot tub and a big kitchen with lots of awesome things in it. Um, and I can't get any of that unless I make these commitments and I find the motivation and I take the responsibility and I earn the respect. So that's where I'm going to leave you this week. There is another very short video going up um, probably tonight, maybe in the morning. 
and um, it's just talking about what hopefully, hopefully is coming on this channel. So I hope you all have an amazing weekend, week, whenever you're watching this. If you're watching this, you probably didn't make it this far, and that's okay. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.